Hi everyone, today I want to share with you how to naturalize daffodils. And if you're anything like me, you just love the look of a planting of daffodils coming out of an old lawn. Maybe it's a big drift along a bank. Maybe it's a steep hill covered in daffodils come spring. But what we're talking about here is a natural planting of daffodils that happens outside a formal or constricted garden border. It's basically where we're just going to throw the bulbs and wherever they land, that's where we're going to plant them. And I really love the look of daffodils used in this manner. I really think this is the best way to use daffodils. It just makes sense and really is a hands-off approach because once you plant them, there's no weeding, watering, fertilizing, even generally dividing that we have to do with these daffodils. As long as we select a good planting site from the start, they will perform for 30 to even 50 years without any human intervention. So the number one thing to think about when naturalizing daffodils is really just the planting site because it's pretty easy to plant the daffodils once you have the site down. So what you're looking for is a site that gets about six hours of sun in the spring. And maybe you think, well, I wanna plant them right here, but I think it's actually too shady. Well, remember to think about what that area looks like in the spring, because if you're working around deciduous trees, you might have more sun there in the late winter and early spring than you think. And you might be able to plant them in that area. So think about six hours of sun come late winter into early spring. The next important thing is to select a site that is well drained because really the only thing that's gonna hurt your daffodil bulbs at the end of the day is to sit in water and rot. And some of us, depending on what our properties look like, maybe there's an area in your property that really just does tend to collect water for one reason or another. That's probably a good area to just stay away from. But as long as the soil where you're planting the daffodils is free draining, they will naturalize beautifully in that area. And the final thing to take into consideration consideration is to select a planting site where you don't need to mow that area until about early June because you want to give the daffodils about six to even preferably eight weeks to photosynthesize after blooming. So if they're blooming in late April, early May, I really don't want to be mowing that section of my lawn until June. I want to give that bulb as much time as possible to photosynthesize, recharge the bulb for next year, and basically die back naturally. I really don't want to mow that area until I see the foliage start to yellow and brown and die back naturally. So now that you've selected the perfect planting site to naturalize daffodils, we can go ahead and get to planting. And this part is really fun and easy. I like to just fill my wheelbarrow full of daffodils. And then what I do is I literally just throw them on the lawn. I just throw handful upon handful as I walk around the lawn in the whole area where I want them to naturalize. And wherever they fall is where I'm going to plant them. Now, after you have your bulb sprinkled on the ground, you wanna go ahead in there with a ball planter or a shovel. Some people even use a crowbar, but basically you just wanna create a hole that's about six to eight inches deep. We're looking at about two to three times the depth of the bulb but with a naturalized planting it's always best to go on the deeper end of things so if i was planting daffodils in my garden six inches would be totally fine and i would feel really comfortable with that depth but when we're talking about a bulb that we have intent to stay in the ground for the possibility of 50 years really try to go down three times the depth of the bulb so here i want to go down eight inches so i just stick my bulb planter in the ground i pop the bulb in pointy side up basal root plate side down put the soil right back in the hole give it a little firming over and really that's all there is to it well guys i want to wish you a great day and until next time happy gardening bye